Hey guys, I'm Meredith and I just wanted to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about my fitness journey, and give you a sneak peek of what's coming up on my channel. As I said, my name is Meredith and I decided to start taking accountability for my workouts because I love chocolate a little too much. <laughs> Phew, there I said it. First step is admitting you have a problem, right? Oh, wow. Before we go any further, <laughs> it's important to me that you understand that I have not now or ever been really, but you'd call athletic, a runner. I mean, you see a lot of these running videos and they're like, oh, you know, I've ran for a really long time or um, I just fell out of running for a time. That was not the case with me, okay? I played some sports in high school, but it was a small school. I mean, they were kind of stuck with me, to be honest. <laughs> I've always been uh, fluffy, but in 2013, I saw a number on my scale that absolutely scared me, to be honest with you. It was the ultimate wake-up call. I was so alarmed that the very, I think the very next morning, I started looking up personal trainers, like what I could do. And if you know me, I, I really don't like to spend money that much either. So the fact that I was going out and looking for personal trainers to pay on a weekly basis, I mean, you knew I was pretty serious. Luckily, I found one that found a trainer that was absolutely amazing. And I will link her information below because she does online workout sessions. We did our workouts in person in 2013, just because I was there in the same town as her, but she offers online workouts. So if you're interested in checking her out, I will definitely link her information below. So this is where my running journey starts. As the personal trainer that I was lucky enough to find, like it's her like mission in life to convert as many people to running as possible. And I mean, she takes that mission seriously, guys. I, I'll tell you right now, I detest running like running for any purpose other than to like run to Sonic before happy hour ends. That's like the extent of my running love, okay? She kind of made it a challenge for me to start into running. She was really a proponent for that. And she kind of appealed to my competitive nature. I'm a very competitive person. So I decided that I was going to work on running a 5k without stopping. Now I had done a color run and a race for the cure and things like that, but it was mostly just for the either the community service aspect or I was just walking it or to just to have fun. But I wanted to do a 5k that I didn't stop, not a fun race. And so I started working on that goal. I honestly thought my tra trainer had met her match in me because I hate to run. And at my heaviest in Houston humidity and being extra gifted in some, let's say gifted in some areas, ladies, you know what this is a recipe for. Disaster and rubbing and just death. Okay, just death. Somehow, um, though, she appealed to my competitive side, like I said, and I completed my first 5K without walking in December of that, that year. And I'll show some pictures wherever they pop up. I don't know. I lost, oh, about 70 or 75 pounds. And it was just amazing. I kind of got bit by the bug. But um, full disclosure there was about a year or so between then and now, after I got married and I didn't have to worry about fitting in the dress, that I slacked and almost, I mean, almost got back to the scary place. So I started over again and recommitted. This time I somehow found myself signing up for not only my first 10K, not only my first half marathon, but my first Run Disney Challenge, okay? And not just the challenge even, challenge plus 5K. So this is what that looks like. I'm gonna have the 5K on Friday, a 10K the next morning, the Saturday morning, and then the half marathon on Sunday. Mind blown, people. Why did I do this to myself? But whatever. <laughs> Only Disney, right, can get me to, to commit to all this. Th that means I'm gonna be running all of this back to back to back, and I know I'm crazy. So I can accept that. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos to prep and motivate myself. 
I'm going to link my favorites below and there are three main favorites that I have. No particular order here, but Joyful Miles, Rev Runs, and Heather Jerkinson, I think they are absolutely amazing. And there's more. There's more than those three that ha I've watched and been inspired by. Those are just the main ones I gravitate towards. So if you're interested, go check them out for sure. They are amazing. After watching a few of Rev Run's videos, I decided that he does it mainly for accountability, and I decided that's what I needed to actually stick to it this time. I needed to feel like I needed to answer to somebody other than myself, because if I give myself an inch, people, I'm not gonna run a mile. I'm not even gonna run 100 yards, let's be honest. So, I need something to keep me accountable, and I think this, this will do the trick for me as well and it could be just fun just to spare just to share my story if i inspire one person and and keep up my goal i will feel i will feel absolutely vindicated in doing this i will feel so excited i'll be posting training runs virtual runs and of course race recaps and maybe just some just some fun stuff in between along the way i'll definitely share my my training plan my Trainer from Houston is helping me with that. So that, that'll be fun, I'll post that. But just fair warning, this is serious, serious time. Just fair warning, if you follow my videos, you will see me in all my sweaty, or sparkly, glory. They, they say sweat equals sparkle, and let me tell you, if sweat equals sparkle, I am this guy. Okay, he's not Disney, but we'll take him, right? This is probably as like nice as you'll see me look in pretty much every video. <laughs> I will be very sparkly, so you've been warned. If you want to encourage me on my fitness journey, just click the thumbs up. I could use all the thumbs up I can get. And if you have any questions, comments, you know, horror stories, whatever you want, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer those for you. Welcome to my channel and until next time, just keep running. Okay guys, I want to apologize. A little, you know, tidbit here at the end. The angle on that like whole video was bad. You know, it'll be a learning curve for sure on the running and on the videoing apparently. Also, I forgot one of the main video people that I watched. Uh, uh, Run Darling, I'm so sorry. I will link Run Darling as well to below. I watched a lot of her YouTube videos, so sorry. Sorry, Sarah, I love you. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks.